all entities are conscious. Welcome. Today's tutorial was based on the word hanging. And for this peculiar one, we are coming back to this mysterious seed, to this mysterious fruit that was once given by the core of the Abyss Garden to the hollow seedling, and which, after a lot of different events, ended up being attached and starting to grow in this ocean of rocks and stone and emptiness that the lone prophet created. But let's begin with the first pathway that led me to create this scene, which was the core, which states that the changes emerge from opposites. And here, the reason why it brought me back to the seed is pretty simple. Basically, the only time that we've seen this place, the core of the Abyss Garden, where the black suns emerge and where all of this energy is being generated, the only time that we saw it, it was providing the hollow seedling with a gift, with a fruit. And we theorized that the purpose of this fruit was to be planted or to be delivered to a specific place that we didn't know about yet and that we had no idea for which purpose or which goals would the core of the garden want this seed to be led to a specific place. But anyway, let's read the second part to this scene, which was the meeting, which states that each point of view is biased. And here, the idea behind it, or what this pathway brought to this scene, is this notion that even the core of the garden, this ephemeral entity, which seems so alien, even this really has a point of view, and even this peculiar part of the garden is biased and wants events to unfold in a specific way. And so, this seed is kind of a reflection of this idea that even the core of the Abyss Garden, with all of its powers and influence on the garden, even this would like things to change and would like events to unfold in a very peculiar way. And so, that's what we are starting to see today. We are seeing the fruit, this seed that has been attached by the wizard of the way, that is slowly getting detached from the rock, and that is slowly growing into a very spiky plant, and slowly starting to awaken, in a sense, we see this ominous eye kind of opening at the center of the seed, and these spiky limbs growing on its sides. But now let's read the third pathway and see how we can interpret this scene. This third pathway is called the predative siblings, and it states that similar entities seek similar resources. And so here, the idea that it brought to my mind, the idea that emerged from this pathway, is that the core is an entity like anybody else, like any other entity. And so its purpose is to survive, to thrive, and to reproduce itself. And I have this notion that maybe this seed, this fruit, might simply be a baby of itself, a tiny version that will end up growing and becoming another gigantic source of energy, like the core is. 
and so it asks us a very interesting question. This pathway which states that similar entities seek similar resources. If we take the point of view that the seed and the core are similar entities, in order to know what this seed is looking for, which resources it is seeking, we gotta understand what the core is seeking. And that's something that's really cryptic and mysterious. Because we know that this core of the Abyss Garden is kind of creating all of this energy from this difference between very dense places and very empty places. But we don't really know how it's managing to do that and what it is looking for. But what we also know is that this peculiar environment that the Lone Prophet turned into this ocean of rocks and stone and emptiness, it has this peculiar element of having a lot of dense places and a lot of empty places, which end up generating a lot of changes. And so we can imagine that this seed was looking for such a place that the core was looking for a place where its seed could begin to thrive, an environment that has so many changes that the core and its baby could thrive in it, that they could absorb all the changes and turn it into energy. And so that's where my theory ends. That these entities that are really cryptic and mysterious, what they are seeking are changes, and what they are providing is energy. And so we might see this seed slowly growing inside of this ocean of rocks and stone and emptiness, thriving on the changes that are happening around it, absorbing them and turning them into energy for new things to grow and I actually quite like this interpretation and I'm quite curious as to how it will look visually as this seed grows and thrives in this new place and I'm also getting quite curious as to what other hidden purposes might these two entities have the core and it's seed. But anyway, I would be quite curious to know what kind of stories you would have created from these three pathways. I hope you enjoyed what I did with them, the lore that emerged behind them, and uh, this peculiar doodle that I created from them. I hope you're having a nice day, a nice evening, a nice morning. And I'll see you tomorrow.